Okay. This is the second take. Hopefully my thoughts will be a little more congealed the second time. Alright, so here's my, my argument. My argument is I wish I had watched more TV as a kid. I'd been allowed to watch more TV as a kid. I was not allowed to watch TV growing up, like at all, none, zero. So, um, I was born in, you know, 92, 91, whatever. So, if that gives you some context for what shows I would have been watching, I don't know, I wasn't allowed to watch them. Uh, I can think of a few. I know Pokemon was huge when I was in first, second, third, fourth grade. Uh, Spongebob, you know, Cartoon Network was in there somehow. Um, yeah, I really can't think of very many. Um, but okay, here we go. First disclaimer, my parents are super awesome. And me criticizing their parenting method is really not a fair thing because they're so amazing. They really are. So this is not in any way a critique of them. This is just a general observation about my experience in life and something I think is true about how I grew up. All right. um, I respect their motives for choosing not to let us watch TV and that's just one way that we were kind of sheltered growing up. You know, video games, you know, how long we were allowed to stay out or what sleepovers we could go to or whatever. Uh, we were allowed to do sleepovers. That's, that would be an unfair critique. Um, but video games, how much and which ones, computer games, internet, um, even, you know, what books we could read. We weren't allowed to read Harry Potter for a long time. Um, certain books, certain of the Harry Potter books, yeah. Um, movies, yeah. Anyway, so disclaimer out of the way. Another true point is whether a kid watches TV or not growing up, may not have any effect, right? If I had been allowed to watch as much TV as I wanted, I may have turned out exactly the same. So, this is maybe a small effect. Uh, who knows? All right, so here are my three points, and then I'll go into a little more depth. Firstly, having a common ground, right, with your classmates, say, at school in particular, um, is big. Right? It's important. Right? And let's say second or third grade, you sit down, you're at the lunch table, first day of school. Right? Nobody knows anybody. I guess second grade you probably do, but there's some new folks. Who knows? Uh, and you don't know anybody. And you're looking at the people around you and you're like, who here? are folks I want to hang out with, and who here is kind of stupid. And so you look at the dude across the table, and you're like, yeah, he's kind of good looking. He's a good looking chap. And you, you, you say, what can I ask him about? I could ask him about sports, maybe. Board games I like to play. Probably not. You're probably going to talk to him about a TV show you like, a movie, uh, uh, video game you like, something like that. I'm making the table shake here. <laughs> I can't, can't, I gotta just like pretend to have my table, my hand rested on the table here. I just gotta stand really still. Um, or you'll just have to put up with a little bit of shaky video. Uh, probably gonna talk to the kid across the table about a show or a movie or whatever, you know, hey, have you seen this or have you been keeping up on this or whatever. And if that kid across the table is like, I don't know what the heck you're talking about. <laughs> In fact, I've never seen that. I didn't even know that existed. And you're probably going to turn to the person next to you and ask them, you you or the person's going to jump in and be like, yeah, I watched that. That's nice. I, uh, what did you think about last night's episode, you know, when the dude nailed the dude in the head with a hammer. I thought that was pretty great. Was like, yeah. So, my first point, which I just kind of explained in detail, I was going to do a rough overview, wasn't I? Is, it's common ground with your classmates. It's something you can connect on. It's a conversation starter. It's something you can talk about. Um, 
It's a way for you to meet people. Okay. It's a way for you to to sound intelligent about something. It's it's an opportunity for you to have something to say and have an opinion on something and strike up a conversation, maybe make a joke with a classmate. Whereas if you're just sitting there and you don't have any of that common common stuff to talk about, then what are you going to talk about? Maybe a teacher you both don't like, you can only talk about that for so long and then you got to talk about something else. Okay. Second point is and this may be the most important one, is I think TV and movies or whatever teach you when it's okay to be awkward, right? Um, I'll go into a little more depth than that in a second. And thirdly, you know, you get the jokes. Get the jokes, right? If, you know, <laughs> Even to this day, right, as an adult, you got to know some references. You need some, you need some cultural knowledge, right? You know, this is what happens, Larry. This is what happens if you meet a stranger in the Alps. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm sure there was kids in my high school. I guarantee you that probably two out of every three kids in my high school would have got that reference, if not more of them, you know, maybe 80%. Um, or even in my middle school, a few of them might have got that reference. Um, <laughs> and known why it was funny and why it was a censored version of something that was a little more uh, vulgar. And that's funny. And so, <laughs> if, you, if you've never watched that movie or even, you know, just seen clips of it or even had it explained to you, if someone, you know, if that's an appropriate reference to make in a scenario, like someone says in regards to something that's gone bad with a school project, right? And someone says, ah, this is what happens when we don't follow the instructions or whatever. And someone else jumps in with, this is what happens, Larry. And you as the third, they look to you and you're supposed to say, this is what happens if you find a stranger in the Alps. And you don't know what the heck they're talking about. You're like... I don't know what you're talking about. You, you just lose that opportunity to bond with the people around you. Is it a little crass? Is, are there some swear words involved? Sure there is. But you're a human being living on this earth. You're going to hear some swear words, right? Is it okay to try to shield the 12-year-old some, from swear words? Sure. Sure. Um, 13, 14 year old, they're going to start hearing them anyway, right? And to take away that source of being able to connect with their peers, you know, it's not a trivial thing. It's a, it's a very tangible disadvantage to not know the references, to not be able to quote things or discuss things. Okay. Um, I kind of went into depth already with my first and third point. The second point I hadn't talked very much about yet, so let's talk. Um, how do I think a TV show lets you know that it's okay to be awkward, right? So, the most vivid memories I have of my childhood... <laughs> if you're still watching this, I thank you, because this must be ridiculously boring. <laughs> Some of those vivid memories of things that I think, uh, like, scarred me. Like, I was like, I can point to this as an example of where I was embarrassed, like, severely in, I can count, dozens of instances, right? And then I was so terribly mortified by those events that for the people who were there, or, you know, whatever, I would look at them and say, I can never be confident around you again because of, you know, you're, I'm sure you remember such and such happening. Um, and I was, I looked so stupid or I looked like such a fool and there's no way you could ever take me seriously um, after seeing that. I'm just, it's, it's done. I should just give up. And so that's what I did. I didn't, 
you know, in a lot of cases, I didn't try to strike up conversations with people because I just, I'd given up. I was like, hey, he already thinks I'm an idiot. Um, so, you know, I don't, I don't want to uh, just, what's the word? I don't want to create more pain for myself. You know, I, this, this is not going to end well. Um, it, for whatever reason, I was definitely under the impression of, you know, you can permanently mess yourself up socially by doing something that's just so monumentally stupid in public that no one will ever like you again. And, <laughs> right, I, I could talk through examples, and maybe I will in a different video, but um, to keep this short, I'll just say, if you watch TV, you'll notice, I think, that the characters do stupid, embarrassing, awkward stuff all the time, right? Like, tons of it. Like, that's the premise of most shows, right? <laughs> Quite a few of them. Uh, like, Friends comes to mind, or um, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Those are two of the only shows I've watched a few episodes of. Um, now that I'm not living with my parents and I can do whatever the heck I want. Um, the point is that watching those episodes and seeing those characters make horrific gaffes or fox passes or social screw-ups, right? Making total fools of themselves, right? And then showing that those people are still okay. They're still normal. They're still perfectly good people, right? And in fact, if people never did stupid stuff or said stupid things, then life would be pretty boring. That's kind of, that's kind of the spice of life, you know, you, that you can joke about it and um, realize that it's all okay. And I wish I had, I had, you know, 100 episodes of various TV shows in which characters did stupid stuff. They made the exact same mistakes I made, you know, they broke things, they, you know, said, you know, when's the baby due, when the person wasn't pregnant, you know, they, you know, ate all the food at the party, <laughs> whatever, whatever. Did things that made a fool of themselves, and then those characters were shown repeatedly throughout the show to actually be okay. They were still good people. I wish I had that experience um, going into school, going into middle school and high school. And I didn't. And I think watching TV would have would have helped me with that. Um, yeah. So, as it was, when I did those really stupid things that I definitely did a lot of, uh, more than my fair share of, um, I felt I was... I was done. I was the only person I felt, you know, whoever did stupid things like this, and I was just, that was it. I blew it. I was, I was done. Uh, I could never have friends or be popular or whatever. And it's not true. And, um, I think watching TV would have helped with that. So, 14 minute video, cut it off here. That pretty much encapsulates my thoughts. Probably would have turned out about the same, even if I'd been allowed to watch TV. But I just wanted to throw those points out. Uh, yeah. Thank you for watching.